like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. We could also title this video, How to Stay Safe While Swimming. It's no wonder many people enjoy swimming. It's such a great way to stay healthy and have a relaxing time. However, most people have never dreamed that encounters with marine life could be fatal. Even the most beautiful or small creatures in the ocean or sea can seriously harm you. And while some of them may just leave you with a nasty bite, others can kill you quickly. So let's talk about 10 creatures that, if you see, get out of the water immediately. If you see this while swimming, get out of the water right away. Number 10. Indonesian Needlefish Needlefish are recognized by their long, thin jaw, full of numerous sharp teeth fit for incurring injuries. Not to mention they're more than capable jumpers, known for jumping out of the water at up to 60 kilometers per hour, or 37 miles per hour. Such a terrible example of this happened in Indonesia. A child from Indonesia suffered from a needlefish and had to be taken to a hospital when he was fishing with his family in Bhutan waters. Muhammad Idul was pierced in the neck by a flying needlefish. Regardless if it was intentional or not, the fish leapt out of the water and pierced Muhammad in the neck. The fish's long, thin snout cut directly through his neck and pierced the rear of his skull. The boy was immediately taken to a hospital for treatment and, fortunately, the operation was successful. Number 9. Stingray The stingray is one magnificent fish, but don't be deceived by its appearance. It can be a threat. Though they're not human flesh-eating monsters, their annual records show us that they're still responsible for stinging people a couple thousand times a year. These fish don't roam around aggressively looking for creatures to sting, but if they feel threatened and to protect themselves, they'll do so when needed. It's their excellent camouflage that makes it hard for humans to spot them. Camouflage is one of their protective traits, but humans easily step on them and then get stung. The stingray's poisonous tail stinger is triggered when they're in danger. Even if the tail stingers miss their target, the upper surface can still injure us. Such stings can cause pain, fainting, and even severe breathing problems. Number 8. Sea Lampreys Next up are the sea lampreys, more than proficient hunters. They are grouped in the subphylum vertebrata and certainly do come up short on a vertebrae. In fact, they're more known for their smooth, round, hollow bodies and are regularly mistaken for eels. Sea lampreys are the biggest type of lampreys and also one of the most forceful ones. They grow up to one meter or three feet long and can weigh up to 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds. They're outrageous hunters and attach themselves to their prey, where they penetrate into their prey with their strangely formed mouths. In this manner, they make an opening in their prey and then stop the target's blood circulation. Indeed, these are dangerous creatures. A gathering of them against a much larger sea creature can bring it down. If you see a sea lamprey attached to a fish or not, either kill it fast or hurry away. Number 7. Lionfish Lionfish have bright stripes, long fins, and venomous spines on their backs. Though their origins are actually in the Indo-Pacific, they somehow found their way to the Atlantic and Caribbean. It's often thought that, perhaps, they were brought to the other seas from an indoor aquarium. Either way, these are unpleasant fish. They have 18 poisonous spines along their backs and their sides hold deadly poison. Venom can be injected into the bloodstream through a sharp spike, which can lead to pain and swelling. So just avoid these fish if you see one. Some people suffer allergic reactions from them too, experiencing complications like anaphylaxis. A typical lionfish can grow up to 0.6 meters or 2 feet in length. They also have a long lifespan of 10 to 15 years in the wild because they're resistant to other fish and bacteria. However, poison aside, the meat of a lionfish is considered very tasty. So nowadays, it's becoming increasingly available in different fish restaurants. Number 6. Blue Ringed Octopus the blue-ringed octopus is probably the deadliest marine life in the sea. There are a few types of blue-ringed octopi known as Hapoloclena, 
They live in tide pools in the Pacific Ocean near Australia and Japan, and also further out towards the western Indo-Pacific Islands. Blue ring octopuses are little in size, no bigger than roughly 6.3 centimeters or 2.5 inches long, with arms that are around 10 centimeters or 4 inches long. They're usually yellow or sand shaded, but dazzling blue rings will appear on their bodies when they're going to strike, which they'll do if they feel threatened or compromised. On the off chance that a blue ring octopus messes with you, you better seek medical attention ASAP, as their bites can be deadly in a super short period of time. For instance, their toxin can kill an excess of 20 people in just a couple of minutes. In the least, though, this is improbable to occur. Reports from 2008 state that there have been only around three human deaths due to the blue-ringed octopus. Number 5. Irukanji Jellyfish Irukanji jellyfish reside in the ocean near the coastline of Australia, which includes North Queensland and Western Australia. This might be, perhaps, the tiniest species of jellyfish on the planet, which even more so makes it the most impressive. The toxin of an Irukanji causes serious muscle cramps, back and kidney torment, sweating, vomiting, head pain, and even mental problems known as the Irukanji disorder. Indeed, even just small portions of the Irukanji's toxin can cause the condition, which requires immediate hospitalization. The effects of the disorder can last up to a few days. Records show more than 100 Irukanji stings require treatment every year. Even though Irukanji jellyfish live around Australia, the disorder of their toxins can be absorbed by other jellyfish, including the box jellyfish, which can be tracked down to Hawaii, Florida, Puerto Rico, and Guam. Yikes! Number 4. Flower Urchin Sea urchins are a bundle of spiny sea creatures that are identified with sand dollars and starfish. Flower urchins, specifically, can be found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Without much of a stretch, they can be confused with rocks and shells due to their hard, round, spiked bodies. They're rather primitive creatures, yet they boast of a strong defensive system. For instance, their stings can be amazingly agonizing and can harm the skin, tissue, and surprisingly, bone. Some urchins are more hazardous than others. The flower urchin, for instance, is full of small, dangerous spines. Though specialists haven't been able to gather much information about their venom, they certainly know that the venom is lethal. Number 3. Reef Stonefish The reef stonefish has excellent camouflaging skills, almost resembling an encrusted stone or piece of coral. The species is found all throughout tropical marine waters of the Indo-Pacific. It has dorsal fin spines, which can infuse a very noxious toxin. Naturally, it's safe to say the reef stonefish is an extremely venomous fish. Their toxins cause serious pain and have been known to have killed numerous Pacific and Indian Ocean Islanders. But an anecdote in 1959 relates that there's a low probability of actual death. That still doesn't lessen the misery people experience each year when they get stung by one. Though extremely boiling water, not burning, can be utilized to slow the intense pain, medical treatment should be sought out immediately. Number 2. Electric Eel One of the most interesting predators in the water is the electric eel. Though we've all heard of the electric eel, what you may not have heard is that adult eels' bodies consist of thousands of assembled electroplaques that can create shocks of up to 860 volts and 1 ampere of current. And, as you may have guessed, a couple of these shocks can be lethal, leading to respiratory or heart failure. People have even died in shallow water from such shocks. One good thing, if you can say that, is that electric eels don't seek out humans to harm them. Their diet consists mostly of smaller fish. When they do attack humans, their attacks work more like tasers. Their high-voltage bursts cause targets to twitch unconsciously. After that, the electric eel will put out a string of high-voltage pulses, up to 400 per second, to finish off their prey. Number 1. Box Jellyfish the box jellyfish is viewed as the universe's most venomous marine creature. Don't make the mistake of thinking that these jellyfish are harmless. Their stings can kill any creature, including humans. The name box jellyfish comes from its shape. 
Their entire arms are full of nematocysts, which are small darts loaded with enough toxic substances that they can cause heart failure, paralysis, and even death not long after being stung. The particular type of box jellyfish with this toxin is the sea wasp. With limbs up to 3 meters or 10 feet long, the sea wasp tops out at 0.3 meters or 1 foot in total body size. Additionally, the box jellyfish is unique in relation to other jellyfish in that it has bunches of all-around eyes with a focal point cornea and retina. It is, likewise, an amazingly quick swimmer, dissimilar to other jellyfish that simply move where the current takes them. That is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!